STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. These subjects are receiving increasing attention in education throughout Australia and the world. In this DVD, we've chosen 28 of our favourite Curiosity Show segments, activities and stories which promote an understanding of science, technology, engineering and mathematics. STEM. Ah, uh, no, I reckon that feels like heads. Well, I don't know what it is yet, but I'll have a look. Heads! Oh, five out of five. In fact, if I blow it, you can see it's rather like a hovercraft. It's balancing on its own little blanket of air or steam, and it can be easily moved by the slightest breath. Like that. End of a piece of wood and plunge that into it. You can see it doesn't go out, but it seems to get brighter. In fact, if I shake the flame out and put the glowing piece of wood in there, it bursts back into flame. And it'll do this repeatedly. Copper gives a brilliant green. Sodium, a yellow orange. And away we go. It's actually all gone. But the ones we're really interested in are not only hinges, like the elbow and the wrist and the jaw, but also pivots, where we spin one bone around another. Which string will break when I pull from the bottom? I know it's a silly answer, but uh, obviously that one. All right, let's try. Let's try. Pulling, 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 pulling. <laughs> Top string break. <laughs> Here goes. <sighs> well, there we are. Not a very long journey, but at least it was where we wanted to go, into the wind. The world's first jet racer is in position. I'm going to release the balloon and let's see what happens. And away it goes, it actually works. If I put that in, you see it works magnificently. One dip and two dips, and we've already got that amount of liquid trapped and on its way up. Three, four, five! Well, I think I could fit into that one, but I'd have trouble squeezing into that one. So you will now be able to see things with eyes that are up that end. It's an almost perfect replica of the little drawing we started with. Only in this case, it's going to be twice the size. So let's try that and see if anything happens. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Eight leaves in five turns, and that really is a model of some particular plant. 16 million grains of wheat. Well, they didn't have enough in all the silos. One, two, three, go. And in fact, the curve wins by quite a distance. When the bus goes two and a half metres, she's a metre and a quarter in front. So she figures she'll always be a little bit ahead of the bus. She'll never be run over. According to that reasoning, I should be perfectly safe here. But there's something wrong with the reasoning, and while you work that out, I'm running sideways. 